So this is what we're going to work on today. We start with D to B flat to G minor to E flat. Okay. Essentially, this is D minor. So we have a B flat and everything else is white notes. Um, but what we're doing here is in the left hand, we're going down in thirds. And we're going out of D minor right here to get the E flat. And then we're going to come down to here. In the right hand, this is the F major pentatonic or D minor pentatonic. But I'm going to start it on C because I want the A on top. So you can even just think of it as C, D, F, G, A. And with the left hand for right now, I'm going to add in just fifths on each of the chords. And listen to how good this sounds with just these notes and roots and fifths in the left hand. Now I want to add um, another thing we can do with the left hand. We've got the root and the fifth. Let's add in the seventh. Sorry, yeah, the seventh of the chord. Maybe not on every chord, but you can have it as an option. And when you get low, this starts to sound a little muddy, so you can decide whether you want to do the D or the E flat, and then D. So now with the seventh. Now I want to add one more thing on the G chord and the E flat chord. So here we are on D, and then on B flat. Now on the G chord, I want to add in the note B flat, because that's the third of the chord. So we still have these notes. Now here's another thing we can add to this. If you think of these notes in the right hand, within this are the notes of F major and D minor. So we can use these two chords, maybe. Over the bass notes. So listen to how these sound. Now, you can do this here at the piano like this. You can go up high. And work your way down. possibility is to do patterns of this pentatonic scale, like maybe
one last really interesting thing, so a more advanced voicing concept I want to show you. Um, and this is a voicing that actually comes uh, from Kenny Barron, one of my favorite jazz pianists. Um, so for the D, for every chord, uh, we're going to stack it up this way. We're going to do the root, fifth, fifth. You see this is more than an octave, so if you have small hands like me, it's a little challenging. And then in the middle, we do a step. These are all notes that we've been using, and listen to how beautiful this chord sounds. Okay, We can do this chord also on the G minor chord. Now I can't reach this part, so I have to do it. Sounds really, really good. We can do it on the E flat chord, and it's gorgeous. Again, I have to break it to do it. Um, the B flat chord doesn't work quite as well. It does sound okay though. Okay. Or you could also just do the D on it too. So those are all possibilities, things you can do. Um, I'd like to do just a short uh, improv just to explore some of these ideas. Uh, you know, and depending upon your comfort with the keyboard, your technique, your experience, your confidence, this can be really simple and sound really beautiful. It doesn't have to be fast and flashy. It doesn't have to be complicated. In fact, sometimes simple, beautiful, sparse textures with the color and the expression of the player is um, incredibly moving. Um, one last thing for those of you who are good with your scales, I mean you can just fill in the additional notes if you want to use some scales in your playing. <laughs> One more idea too is to use trills or uh, just simple repeating patterns like right and those just lay right under the hand and they don't have to be fast um, so those are all possibilities uh, I'm going to just do a short improvisation on this to give you some ideas, but I really encourage you to try um, and use your creativity and come up with whatever you can. So here we go. Mm -hmm.